Hi, I'm Andrea Richards, and you have probably been hearing all about this Norm Coleman website, Norm Coleman's database, now there's credit cards and all this personal information out there. What's going on, right? Well, I'm the one who broke the story on the database, and I'm going to tell you how I found it in just two minutes here. So, I saw a post uh, on Twitter, actually, about this whole website crash. That's what got me interested. It doesn't really matter uh, my political affiliation. I am a Democrat, though. Uh, so I checked it out because I love fixing problems. Uh, and I came to a blog and it said, you know, here's what we found and the website's down. And I thought, huh, well, let me go check things out. So on the internet, every website address like google.com resolves to an IP address. So what I did was I pinged Norm Coleman's website address, his domain name, and it gave me an IP address. So I put that address into the browser at the top of Firefox and up came a site and it had a couple directories. And I thought, well, that's kind of strange. There shouldn't be directories, there should be a website. So I clicked into a couple of folders and then there was this folder called DB for database. Took some, started taking screenshots because I was like, I better document this just in case. Um, then the rest is history and that was it. So I didn't need any special access. The only tool I needed was my browser. So that's it. Uh, you can come over to askadria.com. I have a video on there where I talk more in depth about this, but I, like I say, a fifth grader could have done this. So um, in the future, um, hopefully people will really you know, be more aware about what they need to do to secure their websites. And that was my goal, uh, to just kind of get it out there um, and educate people. So with that, take care. Thanks for watching my videos. I always appreciate it.